we're going to be looking at your portfolio template and at your portfolio site. Let's look. Left hand side is the site document name. This is the file name because it is a file in your drive. You should have your name somewhere there. You can also click and have your name here. This is the undo button to undo the last action. This is the redo button to redo something. Here is preview. If you click preview, it will show you what your portfolio will look like when it's published on a phone, a tablet, or a desktop. I'm just going to click out of that here. This is the link to copy the published link for your site. Now this is what you're going to share to anyone who you want to have access to your published site. You're never going to share this. If you share the URL up here, you're giving permission to go into your editable template. We don't want that. We don't give anyone this. It is this that we are going to be using for our portfolio links. Here we have to share with others. Now we're going to go through our share settings, but that is a way to share. Our settings with settings, you can change from the top to the side for your navigation bar. So if you want it off to the side, it can go there so that you'll see that it will appear at the side as opposed to at the top. I'm going to move it back to the top for now. You can change the color black, white, transparent as you are working there. I'm going to go back to black. On more, you can see the version history, and this is huge for new Google Sites. Just like you can with your Google Docs or Google Slides, you can see versions and you're actually able to name a version and you can then, if something happens and you want to go back to a previous version, you can restore the version. Again, this is new to the new Google Sites and that is huge for us. We also have publish. We'll talk more about publishing, but when you do hit publish, if you haven't made any changes, you're going to see this screen. Now I'm going to return to the editor and I'm just going to make a quick change here. And then I'm going to hit publish and it will show me my draft and it will show me the currently published. And if I want this new change, I'm going to hit publish and it's going to now publish the new version. This arrow can be dangerous here. The arrow takes us to publish settings. Now, if you change anything in your web address, you knock your portfolio offline for anyone who has access to it. So we don't want to do that. Once we get our web address, we want to keep that because otherwise it is going to ruin a lot of things. So you always want to keep that. If Google suddenly changed their web address, then that's not a good business practice. So we want to have that same idea here. Let's look at the insert pages and themes aspect of your portfolio. So first with insert, you can insert a text box. You can insert images. You can either upload them or select, or you can pull right from your Google Drive or photos so that you can insert the photos. You can also insert a video by URL or the embed code. You can insert through the drive, and this is what you'll use mostly as you are inserting documents. You can insert a layout, dragging that over. You can then duplicate the section. You can change the color. You can delete it. Let's look at pages now. Under pages is where you can visit the different pages in your portfolio. Just by clicking on them, scrolling down, it will take you to the page that you are looking for. Under pages is where you can change how your page will be listed in the navigation bar. You can delete or add. You can also go down to the bottom for a new page to add a page. Say that you wanted to add a page for internships, you could do that here. Without changing the layout of the rest of your portfolio, you can drag to move the page around. The theme of your portfolio starts as level in gold because that best matches our school colors. You can change the color if you choose to. 
You can also change the actual theme template. You just want to make sure that it is consistent with your whole portfolio and that it is professional and it gets the message across of who you are.